CDL Double Triple Trailers Practice Test 2 26 Questions Question 1 The first step in uncoupling a converter dolly is to slowly pull clear of it to lower its landing gear to disconnect the safety chains The correct answer is to lower its landing gear Question 2 When you pull two or three trailers you should look farther ahead because the vehicle is more likely to roll over or jackknife Aggressive drivers may cause trouble for you on the road Both of the above are true The correct answer is The vehicle is more likely to roll over or jackknife Question 3 The best way to keep brakes from overheating while going down a steep grade is to Use stab braking Use only the trailer brakes. Go 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. The correct answer is Go 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. Question 4 A converter dolly is A coupling device that connects a semi trailer to the rear of a tractor trailer. An electronic device that connects the electric power from a semi-trailer to the rear of a tractor trailer. A coupling device that converts the electricity between a semi-trailer and a tractor trailer for international trucking. The correct answer is A coupling device that connects a semi-trailer to the rear of a tractor trailer. Question 5 when should you check your mirrors while making a lane change? After signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All answers are correct. The correct answer is. All answers are correct. Question 6. During an inspection of a double or triple combination, check the usual things for any combination vehicle and check the fifth wheel and the landing gear, the trailers and the radios in the tractor, the shut-off valves, the converter dolly or dollies, and the air brakes on all trailers. The correct answer is the shut-off valves the converter dolly or dollies, and the air brakes on all trailers. Question 7. Which of these statements about seeing ahead is true? Good drivers shift their attention back and forth, near and far. Many drivers do not look far enough ahead of their truck. At highway speed you should look up to one quarter mile ahead of your truck. All answers are correct. The correct answer is All answers are correct. Question 8 When does the driver's manual advise disconnecting the steering axle brakes to help keep the rig straight? Any time you must. When the road is dry. Never. The correct answer is Never. Question 9 the tractor protection valve is designed to close automatically when the air pressure falls into the pressure range specified by the manufacturer, typically 75 to 100 pounds per square inch, 20 to 45 pounds per square inch, 50 to 75 pounds per square inch. The correct answer is 20 to 45 pounds per square inch. Question 10. If a converter dolly has spring brakes, you release the brakes by 
opening the air tank petcock. Using the dolly's parking brake control. Doing both of the above. The correct answer is using the dolly's parking brake control. Question 11. A converter dolly with anti-lock brakes, ABS, is required to have a white lamp on the right side. A white lamp on the left side. A yellow lamp on the left side. The correct answer is a yellow lamp on the left side. Question 12. To test the tractor protection valve, charge the trailer air brake system, turn off the engine, and keep pressing the brake pedal firmly. Step on and off the brake pedal several times. Flash your high beam headlights on and off several times. The correct answer is Step on and off the brake pedal several times. Question 13 Why must you inspect your double or triple combination vehicle more extensively than a vehicle with only one such semi-trailer? There are more critical parts to check. Its design makes it more likely to have problems. The types of cargoes it carries make it more likely to have problems. The correct answer is there are more critical parts to check. Question 14. Which of these will result in the best control on curves? Downshift after you enter the curve. Braking during the turn. Slowing to a safe speed before entering the curve, then accelerate slightly during the curve. The correct answer is Slowing to a safe speed before entering the curve, then accelerate slightly during the curve. Question 15 When you uncouple twin trailers, the last step is to Uncouple the converter dolly Slowly pull clear of the converter dolly Release the brakes on the converter dolly The correct answer is Slowly pull clear of the converter dolly. Question 16 Anti-lock brakes, ABS, have been required on all converter dollies built since March 2000 March 2003 March 1998 The correct answer is March 1998. Question 17. Coupling a triple trailer is different from coupling other combinations because you do not have to use a converter dolly. You couple the third trailer to the second trailer before you couple them to the first trailer. You couple the second trailer to the first trailer and then couple them both to the tractor. The correct answer is You couple the third trailer to the second trailer before you couple them to the first trailer. Question 18 If your landing gear is power operated, you should check for underscore during your walk around inspection. Dirt or grime Leaks of water or gasoline Leaks of air or hydraulic fluid The correct answer is Leaks of air or hydraulic fluid Question 19 Double and triple combination vehicles are underscore stable than other types of commercial vehicles More Less Neither more nor less The correct answer is Less 
Question 20. When parking your double or triple combination, you should look for a parking space that you can back out of, that you can pull straight through, that is as close as possible to your destination. The correct answer is that you can pull straight through. Question 21. A converter dolly consists of a underscore wheel and underscore axles. Fifth, two or three. Fifth, one or two. Third, two or three. The correct answer is fifth, one or two. Question 22. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should there be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? There should be none. It depends on the load. There should be half to three quarters inch. The correct answer is there should be none. Question 23. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure that the converter dolly air tank drain valves are underscore and the pintle hook is underscore. Closed, latched. Open, latched. Open, free. The correct answer is closed, latched. Question 24. Which of these statements about handling doubles and triples is true? A sudden movement with the steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five axle tractor semi trailer because of off tracking. The rear trailer of a 100 foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi trailer because of the crack the whip effect. The correct answer is A sudden movement with the steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 25 If your test of the tractor protection valve is successful, the parking brake valve will pop out. The low air pressure warning signal will come on. The tractor protection valve control, trailer air supply control, will pop out or go from normal to emergency. The correct answer is The tractor protection valve control, trailer air supply control, will pop out or go from normal to emergency. Question 26 You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least underscore seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 The correct answer is 10. Thanks for watching.